Hello, I'm Tom Nisley and welcome to Beginning Weaving. I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step procedures to make this a lot easier for you if you're a brand new uh, weaver just getting started or maybe somebody who has struggled along and uh, needs some helpful hints to get you started again. Often I hear that people started off with a little potholder loom started making looper potholders, and they've always been intrigued with that over, under, over, under interlacement, and um, want to explore this a little bit more. One of the things that really helps is to make a list of the things that you can see yourself weaving. I want you to think about, are they scarves? Are they placemats, table runners? Maybe you'd like to weave baby blankets. If you think maybe you'd like to do rugs that are larger in size, uh, you need a heavy duty, sturdy loom. If you're thinking about maybe just sticking with scarves and placemats, something like the loom that I'm sitting at right now would be fine for you to start off with. But we're gonna be talking about loom weaving, floor loom weaving here today. And there's all kinds of other looms that you may have already started with, maybe a rigid heddle loom or a pin loom. But when you move into this size loom, a floor loom, there's a lot of things to consider and the parts are just a little bit different. So I wanna take you on an adventure today showing you several different kinds of looms, explain the different parts of the loom. Uh, we're going to actually be doing a little project planning and I wanna take you through the step-by-step -step procedure into making a beautiful scarf like the one that you're seeing right here in front of me. We're going to be choosing three different colors of wool yarns and I'm going to show you how to plan the different stripes that you're seeing here in the video and how you'll be able to weave it on your loom when you get home. 